They've been cleaning up on the offensive glass so far. And then Paige Beckers with the drop. When those two were not playing, everyone had to play outside themselves and try to give more than they're used to giving for this team. Including Kristen Williams, who has the ball. That's terrific defense by Shannon Titus. No surprise there. Titus, who forced the turnover three times. You mentioned Shannon Titus, her length and her athleticism, able to get a hand on that ball. And Amoria Tyson Neal. Huskies on the move, and the lefty puts it up and in. Kristen Williams off to a. As the shot clock is turned off for Mercer. They have been having trouble getting shots off. That one was contested, but still hit by Doherty. Mercer has shown some promise in their breaks, but have not been able to finish. That's a clean breakaway. Davina Westbrook. And Mercer barely got it over the mid-court line. They played Georgia in the pre-conference schedule this year, lost to them, and that's Duchon. And sometimes we forget UConn's one of the best defensive teams in the country as well. Caroline Ducharme getting in the passing lane and an easy two on the other end. Oh, it was incredible, and, and hopefully everyone was up to see Fran Belibi and that dunk. That was incredible in transition. Ducharme with a couple of picks and sticks. And congratulations to three teams that uh, have picked up yes. their wins, double-digit victories, Williams this time, including the Coyotes of South Dakota. Ducharme left way too open. Yeah, she really was. And then Juhas with another damaging offensive rebound. You know, on the offensive end of the floor, everybody back to being able to play in their roles, in their comfort zone, Juhas. Paige Beckers, if you're just joining us, getting the start in this game. Fudd's first shot! Field goal attempt for AZ Fudd right here, and she's got too much time and space. Before we went to break, by the way, AZ Fudd picked up her second foul for UConn and is still out there on the floor. Noted. All right here, we're going to see... AZ Fudd, you can't see her on the stagger screen on the backside, but her pace and how quick. Three second violation, another turnover for UConn. And they get it right back. Beckers waits, delivers. Well, defensively, just such a good job of closing the gap. Paige Beckers gets it two in transition. Again, I, I think that you're going to see, and Paige Beckers did not have a very good Big East tournament. And Gina or Emma talking about Working her way back into things. That's not right. <laughs> Getting herself back into play to make that block. But then the answer, AZ Fudd has hit all three of her three. It was a prolific, prolific scorer, pardon me, for them this year. Yeah, it was interesting talking to Susie Gardner about I originally signed her as a point guard as Paige Becker skits out in the passing lane and gets another two. Becker's all the way across court. Mule left open. There is it. And again, the supreme compliment being called the dog by Stephanie White, who was one herself at Purdue. There you go, from the corner. Now on the Mercer staff. That was a big smile on her face at City. Right? Always, okay. always. Around the bottom of the hour, the next hour, 3.30ish Eastern on ESPN News for UCF and Florida, the winner of that game. We play the winner of this game, and there's that plucky little freshman, Aaron Howe. If she was going to be able to get her shot off against the length and athleticism of Connecticut, and she has done a really good job of finding her areas and knocking shots down when they're available. And then the answer coming on the other end by Westbrook. 13 points, showing the balance. Every player has scored that has gotten onto the floor, and gosh, Shannon Titus. Was on the Canadian Olympic team, did not get a lot of playing time and might have set her back a little bit. Was not here in Connecticut. Oh, Beckers. Coming off of the handoff, 
Doesn't even need to put it on the floor. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Eckers came back February the 25th in a game against St. John's. Westbrook two in a row. UConn awaits the winner of our second game, UCF and Florida. That's going to be entertaining. I like it when players play multiple sports. I think it's yes. good for them. I think it's good for their bodies. Good for their souls. Yes, yeah. good for their mind. Getting some playing time. Kenley Fisher knocking down that three for Mercer. They Rolled in by Ashley Locke. So the true freshman coming in, and this is what we're used to seeing with the Huskies. And we will see them on Monday against either UCF or the University of Florida.